happens is because it doesn't have a faction module to retain the AI. Or it so, <clears throat> so basically, I'm just doing this little Fire bit here. Faction, no shooty turrets. The um, in the last video that you would have seen, um, which hasn't come out yet, but when you're watching this, then you will see that there was some pretty bad damage to the station they after will importing the sector. Once the um, energy bug gets fixed, right now turrets consume no energy while being docked. And of course, no one can hear me because I got pushed to talk on. They, ah. zero. Uh -huh. they, they do consume energy, they just don't stop when there's no... No, energy. they don't, because I've built ships that have physically no energy, and turrets with no energy docked the turret to the ship and the turret was able to shoot. Yep. Uh, no, zero. Testing know, complete. They consume the energy, but they don't check to see if the energy is there. Yeah, but that's, that, that means it doesn't matter. Yeah, but dude, dude, it doesn't matter if they run out of energy and still keep working. I mean, it doesn't matter if they drain energy. <laughs> because if you think about it, you just... Yeah, if you don't have any energy and they still work... Yeah, that's that's what the problem is. They're, dra they're Yes, they're draining energy, but obviously you don't have to have any if they don't need it. Do you see the point? So the exploit yes, but doesn't no, matter. It takes well, yeah, so, yeah, but it's, yeah, but that's it. The problem isn't that they draw... With, it will still shoot. Yeah, right. Yeah, so the problem dark, isn't that they draw energy. Saying. The problem isn't that they draw energy in a funny way. They are drawing energy correctly. However, when the ship runs out of energy, they continue to draw energy from nowhere. That's the problem, isn't it? They don't yes. understand that there's no power. And I think it's because the entity doesn't have access to that power level that's held with the mothership entity. But who knows? I don't know how it's coded. Anyway, I just want to quickly just quickly finish this off because I'm just floating around my station right now looking at the lack of damage. In the last video that you guys would have seen, you would have noticed that there were some pretty big holes. And we even went through the process of re-importing the sector from uh, another copy of the, of the sector. So original process i imported the station on this build then i went off and did stuff for other people came back and it had all been destroyed by my own ship shooting from the inside out and it wasn't faction home based doesn't have any shields yet so it's just shot to hell and so i re-imported the sector found the damage was still there so confused about that because we hadn't like overwritten the import um the sector uh, import file so what i did then was i went on ftp grabbed a copy of the export which i knew was undamaged which i had originally brought in went to copy the file had to overwrite it because there was a newer version one day newer so since i copied the file into the server and imported it somehow the file had changed within about 24 hours of being on the server um no idea how, because I didn't realize that the exports are updated in any way. But the point is, that was that. And we, uh, we overwrote it and imported it again. Still had damage. Now, today we've just done a complete uh, upgrade on the server. So that involved updating the jar and copying the entire server database back in. Now, uh, <laughs> that being said, this is a current build client, so this is a different install. So the only thing that's changed, as far as I can tell, is my client is different. You know, it's clean. My, I've got a clean client on this update. And, uh, yeah, no damage. So I'm very confused um, about that. I hate to interrupt you, but do you see where I'm standing? No. Hang on, I'm trying to find I'm you. I'm standing on top of the station near one of your helicopter pads. Hmm... Um, just this trying to area find you. All around me is damaged. Uh, I can't find you, man. You cannot see the gray fighter parked on top of your station. Oh yeah, I see that. Hang on. Coming over. I'm over here near it. Now, in in the screenshots of the damage, this whole area is knackered. There's like heavy damage there. I remember. But it on this screen, is. not not on this screen, buddy. Yeah, on mine it is. Yeah, that means that your client data has been considered newer than the server data, surely. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to reinstall and see if it's my client. Because maybe it's my client, but that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> well, I can go get on the older client that was updated with the server info and see if it's still damaged there. Well, I think what I'm going to do is a fresh install and then I'm going to come back to this 
and see what it looks like. It does. No, no, it does, it does, it does. I have, obviously, I have to do that again. You're right. Some of the entities might not have been updated. And let's just show everyone how to do that for the sake of argument. So first, to get your faction ID, uh, you need to do player info on yourself or get an admin to do it for you. And then you need to get the number, minus 10,001. And then you're going to use... Faction, set, entity, and then the number which you got from your show info. I hope not. We just updated again today, just now. I didn't get an update. So that means it's okay then. Should be. What? What's okay? Okay, now it's yours. And so then you have to go round the same way you would F and delete something, destroy entity. You got to do the same thing, except you do F and then you do. Faction underscore set underscore entity space and your new faction number because obviously when you go to a different server the faction number will not be the same because someone else might have it. Alright, having changed client it's one that had been previously updated to the current build is a separate client from what I was on earlier. I'm not seeing any of the damage I'd seen before which had been done by the station's defenses and the pirates attacking. So basically, we both had the same client positional thing because in the recordings we did previously, I was convinced that the station was genuinely damaged and that the sector import had become damaged somehow. But no, it was just the same client sync bug with our, both of our caches deciding that it was newer than what the server data has. So there you go, case closed. The, sh the, s the station's okay. <laughs> Everything's fixed, false alarm. Yeah, but at least we know why. It's just funny because I didn't think that that client positional thing could happen backwards, which is what that is. Oh crap, this means I have to tell the team of highly trained monkeys with the wrenches to stand down. Yep. So I was all ready to send him over here to fix your station. To fix it all up. <laughs> I appreciate that. Here to come deal with like either five pirates or twenty. I don't know how many there are. Whoa, twenty um, pirates! Open exit game real quick. I'll come save you. All right. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, we've got to the bottom of this. Uh, thanks again, and I will see you in the next one.